Good morning, MFers. Welcome to beautiful Stockton Lake, Missouri. That's right, I'm in the heart of the Ozark today and I'm doing a little bit of fishing. We made it further down south. We'll look at the damn Beverly Hillbillies. Max, Becky, uh, my nephew Ethan actually all rolled down here from the last lake we were at. Potates and, and uh, my sister Elizabeth are coming down here too. So we had everything strapped to the boat. It looked really, really, really funny. Anyways, though, as you guys can see back behind me, we got the sun about to come up and I got a bunch of baits out. Let me show you guys what I got tied on to throw today. We got the big swim bait situation going on here. Seven inch slammer, 10 inch ankle or nine, I don't even know how big it is. 12 inch slammer, whopper flopper. And then of course we got the uh, the worm situation, football jig, shaky hit. Now I didn't really have any time to tie on baits last night. So I've been doing that for about the last half hour going crazy because the sun's about to come up. So it is very, very early, obviously. Plan for the day is before the sun gets up, I'm gonna go out right now and try to get on a swim bait, top water style bite. And then as the sun gets a little bit higher up in the sky, uh, we're gonna move out offshore, fish some points, and I can talk you guys through some of the deep fishing. I've had a lot of requests for deep fishing tips lately. Anyways, let's uh, let's get out there. I, I cannot wait to get out there and explore this beautiful lake for my first time ever in the summer. Let's go. guys i am freaking jacked to get out this morning i have literally no idea how this bite's going to go i have never fished this lake in the summer but i'm out here on a main lake bluff point right here and uh yeah let's uh let's get to slinging some big top water baits around decided to start with old mr uh willie p here because we got a little bit of chop out here on the main lake but as we get kind of moved in uh there's some standing timber in this cove up here I'm definitely going to be switching over to the slammer once again, trying to get a big topwater bite here this morning before the sun gets up over the trees. But the good thing is about these Ozark lakes, you can work shade lines all freaking day. So that's something else we can do around all the bluffs. There we go. Slammer fish. Nice. What do we got here? Is it a spotted bass? It's a largemouth. All right. Well, just working down a, uh, a main lake bank here. I think it's a, that's got to be a largemouth. Nice little two pound largemouth. Came up and ate Mr. Old Slam piece. Kind of out of nowhere. There wasn't even any cover right there. But um, yeah, good to see there's some up shallow. I saw one chasing bait back there a little ways. Put down the plopper, picked up the slammer because there's hardly any chop in the water in this little spot. I'm gonna work down this bank a little bit more, I'd say. Just missed another bite there. It's kind of weird. I'm like, came down this bank and started on some of these laydowns and stuff because they look perfect for what I usually throw a slammer on and can't get bit on them. And then every time I start just buzzing down the bank, I get bit on nothing. Guess I can't. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, I thought that was a little spotted bass. Sweet. All right, they're eating the swim bait. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> I knew there had to be one there. Not a big one, but hey, I got a spotted bass. That's awesome. Meaty little bugger. Well, see you later, Mr. Spotted Bass. We've only caught two fish and we are two thirds of the way to the Stockton trifecta. But I was just about to say, I don't think these fish understand how they're supposed to be setting up on ambush points because look at this, we got this chunky rock that clearly comes out into the lake and I threw on both sides of it and then I threw back behind it kind of in a weird angle and that guy came out and kerchowed it. So uh, yeah, totally cool with that. Um, guess I'm just gonna keep on fishing down this bank. The sun is coming up a little bit though so I think I might have to get out, start fishing a couple of my offshore spots here in a second. Not that I'm giving up on the big baits uh, for the day by any means. We got standing timber so we can catch them on that hinkle shad on that. We got shade lines so we can keep throwing the slammer. I just tied on the big Nazuma rat. I want to catch fish on that because I have yet to do that yet. Freaking beautiful morning though. This is awesome. There we go. All right. Moved out off the bank and we're hooked up. Not sure what species we got here. Kind of fighting like a smallmouth. Could be a smallie. Would be the trifecta, the Stockton Ozark trifecta. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? 
<sighs> Look what we got, guys. A freaking drum. No! Some kind of sick joke. Drum on a football jig. Well, that's nasty. Get him back in. At least he didn't destroy my trailer, I guess. Fun! It was a fun fight, guys. All right, I'm gonna be nice to the drums. I know you yelled at me a while back for not being so friendly to the drums. But man, I'm sure glad that I caught that drum right there. I'm so happy that I caught it. It sure was a good time reeling it in. There we go. Look at that. I put on old freaking faithful. And we got ourselves, oh my gosh. Are you freaking kidding me? One of those days, huh? Got ourselves another one of my favorite species, fish. A freaking drum. I was just about to talk about how cool my little uh, change in bait and presentation was because I switched up to Old Faithful, the smoke perp tube. But it turns out the fish I saw down there are potentially freaking drum. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Man, no wonder I'm not, oh, it's a large mile. I thought it was a little spot. Look how small this guy is. Well, you're not big, but uh, he almost jumped back in the boat. Thanks for playing, bud. Thought I'd give you guys a quick little representation of how the day has gone so far. I'm, uh, I'm out offshore and I see some fish suspended on my graph and I'm fishing this nasty, chunky stuff. I know it's a good small mouth spot, a bad spot. Likely so, I'm like, I'll tie on a drop shot. I got one spinning rod in the boat. It's up on the front deck. I'm ready to rock and roll. So I go tie on a drop shot, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm confident. A drop shot is uh, is what's gonna catch them down there. So it takes a second to tie on, but I'm pretty jacked. So I, uh, I go to get up in the front of the boat, fire that baby out there, and I shut the rod locker, and snap! Snapped the tip of my rod off. That right there is a great summation of the day so far. What the heck? I actually have a fish on. This is so weird. It's not even small. It's not big either. God, this guy was just like swimming with it. Fat little spotted bass. All right, he's trying to escape. Not a big one, but uh, just picked up old Mr. Shaky Head and pa pow. All right, fat little spotty. Go back home. Well, it's something. Uh, yeah, it's definitely something. Has been tough. Tough so far. All right, little morning sesh is done. Wasn't the uh, the best performance. Had some good swim bait bites, so that was super cool. But I feel like I'm just in total search mode right now. You guys have seen me film here at Stockton Lake many times in the past, but everything does a 180 in the summer. So I'm still kind of looking around, but I'm thinking some of that offshore stuff's gonna turn on. I'm gonna go back out this afternoon. We're gonna do some cliff jumping. And then this evening, I'm gonna hit them with some swim baits when it gets nice and dark outside. So all hope is definitely not lost in efforts. Campsite's right up there. Had a nice little spot to pull the boat up out of the bank. Hopefully it's still there and not stolen when I get back. All right, I'm gonna go eat breakfast with the fam and I will catch you guys very soon. Sweet hair. Thanks. Looks good. Yeah. All right guys, mission number two. Day, time number two out of the day. I got potates with me. Got Ethan, nephew Ethan with the crazy boat hair. We just yeah. ran about 10 miles down the lake. And we have Emmy, the fishing pup. Trying to stay out of hooks down here is just about all she's doing. But we had a couple hours to get out this evening. Didn't do that great this morning, but hopefully the bites picked up a little bit um, tonight. We're gonna start deep, we're gonna work shallow. Caught some fish on a bluff while we were jumping off some bluff walls, so that was pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, see how this goes. Yeah, reel yours in and fire it up there. You should be able to catch those a little bit. Oh, got one. Nice. Took not that long. long. We got a tube, we got a tube. Oh no. It's a drum, dude. I think I've caught more drum than anything else today. <laughs> Emmy, look, a fish. Caught another stupid drum. I think I've got more drum than bass today, but Emmy, the fishing pup, she's a fan. All right, don't lick that dirty thing. Where'd it go? There's one. Hey, it's actually a bass too. It's not a drum. Main Lake Point. Emmy, look, look it. What is that? that? Is, is that a bass? Tiny. It is. It's a largemouth. Still haven't caught a smallmouth today. What do you think? If I were a fish, I'd be going for a different pole. You love all the fish, don't you? You don't care what species. Delicious? Say goodbye. Good girl. Why did I chase it? Good girl. Why is there only small ones on these big fish spots? Tates. I'm sure just... There's another one. What? 
Little pecker heads up there feeding. Like oh, a smallie! You are cheating. Trifecta! Yes, we did it. Ooh, that's a, a Stockton Lake trifecta. I that's not even a bad one. That's like one of the best fish I've caught today. I've never seen that. Before. That's a smallmouth, dude. No. Oh, hit me now! <laughs> hit me. It's okay. All right, guys, we did it. A beautiful bronze one. We've now caught largemouth, spotted, and smallmouth bass. Get Ready? him back. He's a dark one. Cool looking fish. As far as you can. Let it sink on the bottom. And so this thing sits up off the bottom like that. So the fit, it does a lot of what it does on its own. So you don't need to impart a lot of action to it. So I'm on the bottom. That's about it. Tighten my line up. See my rod, how it's tight? Yep. Just slowly pull it like a couple feet and tighten it up. Let's sit there, you got a fish. Real. What? Oh. You got him. Even... You got him. First cast with the turd. I didn't even cast him. <laughs> Yay. You got going here, dude. Don't just crank on them, fight them a little bit. Pull back. What do you got? You got a good one? You got a good one? Who is this guy? Get him off the boat. Where is it? He's pulling on you. Oh! It's a good one! I got him! <laughs> no! Dude, that was a big large mouth. That was a big one. That was like a two and a half, three pounds. That's the biggest one of the day. Good one, though. I mean. That was so funny. I was showing Ethan how his bait works, and I felt it bite. I was like, here, take it. Dude, good one. First Let me cast. get this hooked up. First cast with the uh, turd. turd. You like turds? Mm. All right, it. catch one. <laughs> Dude, that yes. was awesome. That was real nice. There we go. Another two fish. Dirty two beaters, Ethan. Oh, it's not a brown one. It's just a large mouth. What are you doing out here, Mr. Large Mouth? All right, we're improving in size, guys. Good girl. Good fishing pop. All right, say goodbye. Goodbye. Beautiful fish. That might be the biggest one I caught today, sadly. There we go. Yeah, I got him. Not that small. Oh, it's a walleye. <laughs> Come here, walleye. Bonus fish. We're eating dinner, Emmy. Easy. Should we keep him? Eat him, Ethan? Oh, sure. Wallhead for breakfast? Thanks. All right, awesome. badass. Thank you, sir. Sweetness, bonus wall head. All right, homie. Nice. Jimmy, oh, you gotta touch the wall. Yeah, they're so much better eating, aren't they? I saw that right there, you saw one right by you. Who, who it is? The dab master. Just got back from the uh, the fishing excursion on the boat today. Definitely a fun time with uh, Ethan and Potates. Caught some, had a nice finish to the day. Now we got Ethan down there. We got the dab master Max right here. Max is pulling a whopper plopper. I'm throwing this uh, six cents dogma, the little dogma. Hopefully there's a bunch of schooling bass in here. So we want to finish the night, hopefully with a, uh, a good fish, but so far so good. That would have been a great day in the water. I want to see if we can catch some right here. Well guys, that brings us to a conclusion on the day. Unfortunately, we were unable to have a successful night mission. We're gonna shoot the outro here while we still have enough daylight. Been a fun day, it was kind of a grind. We didn't get a big bite like we were hoping. Uh, hot bite started off this morning with the slammer. Caught a bunch of fish on the tube later on. It seemed like the afternoon bite was definitely way more hot offshore. Did you guys have fun today though? Get some good fishing in? Emmy is uh -huh. trying to trip me. Emmy, yeah. Emmy, Emmy the water dog had a good time on the boat. She didn't eat any hooks and uh, yeah, so far so good. We're gonna get the po boat parked back at the slip. And uh, you guys you think we should do that video tomorrow? You wanna do that uh, that fish trap video potentially? Yes. All right, so be checking back for that very soon. Of course, go subscribe to Melican Fishing if you like videos like this one, fishing vlogs. We got a couple more days down here at the Ozarks. And uh, then it's back to Omaha and then I'm back out of town. So I'm very excited to share those experiences with you guys. But thanks so much for watching this one. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop with a love like mine